Hey guys, today on Low Carb with Jennifer, we are going to make this keto pad thai using shrimp. And instead of traditional noodles, we are going to be using spaghetti squash. You can find the link to the recipe in the description below, or you can go to jenniferbands.com and search keto pad thai. Okay, we're going to get started on our keto pad thai. And how we are going to make a keto is we're going to use spaghetti squash instead of the typical uh, noodles that are used in pad thai. But first, we're making, since we're making shrimp pad thai, I'm going to go ahead and cook the shrimp. So I've got a big skillet here, and I'm going to get it hot, you know, medium heat. So we don't want to overcook our shrimp. We're going to cook the shrimp first and then pull them out of the pan and then we'll make the sauce and the noodles. So I'm using avocado oil. So now we can start cooking our shrimp. And we don't want to overcook our shrimp. So oops. a tip that I've heard for cooking shrimp is that you want it to be C, still C-shaped because if they get too tight, you know, O shaped, that means they're overcooked. So C cooked, O overcooked. So these are, these shrimp are not very huge. They're not huge shrimp, they're, I think, large shrimp. So they shouldn't take too long to cook. Okay, these shrimp are cooked, so I'm going to remove them to a plate. And now I'm going to cook some sliced red peppers to get them softened. Okay, our red pepper are cooked, so I'm going to push that to the side. I'm going to turn my skillet down. And I've got two beaten eggs here that I'm going to scramble up really quick. Spatula. And then we can mix all that together. I'm going to add in all the ingredients for our sauce, which is soy sauce, fish sauce, rice wine vinegar, some keto friendly brown sugar, some garlic, minced garlic, some peanut butter, creamy peanut butter. and some sriracha. Mm, that is starting to smell so good. So we're gonna mix all that together, get that peanut butter mixed in there. We can even scrape off some of the brown bits from the bottom or any egg that's stuck to the bottom. And this recipe is almost done. So for our noodles, we're going to use spaghetti squash. And I already cooked those. Um, I cooked two small spaghetti squash, or you could use one large spaghetti squash. I cooked it in the Instant Pot. It's my favorite way to cook spaghetti squash. So here is all of that. Perfectly cooked spaghetti squash. We're going to add that. Get that all mixed in. I'm gonna bring it up to high, let some of the liquid cook off. And then we can add the rest of our ingredients and this recipe will be finished. Mm, it smells good. Okay, our final ingredients are going to be bean sprouts, 
That's, I mean, essential pad thai. If you don't like it, don't add it. But it's just something that goes in pad thai. And then we're going to add in some cilantro. Lots of yummy cilantro. Some green onion. Peanuts. We're also going to add some lime juice. We're going to squeeze in the juice of two limes. We could use a lime or a lemon. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Use that so I don't get lime juice in my eye. That's better. the cilantro and the lime juice and the peanuts. Get that all mixed together. It's so colorful. So now we can add the shrimp back in. shrimp in there. And let's try it. I'm excited. I will be honest, I've never tried pad thai with spaghetti squash. Let's see. Mm. That is so good. It tastes just like the pad thai from wherever you buy pad thai. <laughs> it tastes just like pad thai from a takeout. That is so good. Mm. I am excited about my lunch. So I, I'm very excited about this recipe. And you can find the link to the recipe in the description below. And get one of these so you don't squirt lime juice in your eye. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> oh, I cut myself up. This is so good. <laughs>